Hello and welcome to Morris Minor Restoration Part 50. Today we are working with these. Yes, the taillights finally work. Let me just turn off the flash to show you. The taillights finally work. Let me just turn the headlights off because it will drain the battery. The taillights work. They work beautifully as well. Um, they are very weird taillights because they're not Morris taillights. These taillights are to a Volkswagen Beetle. And whoever wired them up is an idiot. <laughs> and I tell you that. Whoever wired them up originally because... Oh, I'm rolling the car. Oh, the car's in gear, so it won't roll that far. Um, because you see this light in here. Let me turn my flash back on. This light in here, I believe, is a parking light. I'm not sure. But it is a light bulb. And that had a ground connected to it, so that does not work. Um, so that didn't work. But, um, I decided to, um, hook them up anyway. See if it would work, and it wouldn't. And according to the Morris Minor wiring diagram, black is ground, so yes. But these are Volkswagen Beetle taillights. So that wasn't working properly. So it was weird. Taillights on this thing is a red wire. While, um, brake lights and turn signals, I think, are a silver wire. So that's what you gotta do with these is you have to actually look at the wiring diagram to figure out what's what, or else, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm sure if your car is stock, you don't have to do that, you don't have to wire trace, but these you have to wire trace because Volkswagen taillights, you, in fact, let me remove this thing to show you that they're actually Volkswagen taillights. Now with the lens removed, it's clearly beetle looking, but if we look on here, let this focus in, that is clearly VW. And the taillights say made in Germany. And also 66. S A E S T B D 66. I believe the other one says 65. They're Hella lenses, which is pretty cool. So, uh, no, the other one says 66 as well. These are Hella lenses. They're, qu they're quite pricey. So, uh, I've decided to keep them, even though it is slightly broken at the top. I've decided to keep it. And these are actually in pretty good condition. I mean, this is corroded right there. But the rest of it is actually in pretty good condition. This is just dirt because this is open. And it's pretty dirt. Uh, when it gets dry, the dirt becomes sand and flies everywhere, basically. Because it's sandy loam dirt. So that's why my car is always dirty. <laughs> but, um, yes, yeah, so these are Volkswagen taillights. This is the lens. Let me just throw that back on really quick. Okay, now with that thrown back on... Um, I can tell you how I did this. Well, I can basically show you, because I took a little bit of clip, so watch this little clip coming up right now. Okay, so now, if I turn my lights on, headlights come on, and taillights come on. If I turn my indicator on, oh, I have to cut the ignition on. If I have... Huh. Huh. Should be enough to see if it works. Okay, so that was very short, and the loom was a mess, as you saw. But, um, yeah, I guess it's okay. Um, so, yes, part 50 does mean restoration complete, I guess. Well, at least mechanical, well, complete to my standards. A project car is never done. I mean, just look at this. This has a little bit of rust issues, but it's pretty close to done. And the seats are kind of messed up, but it's okay. It's a project car. They're never done, and these are patina. But this thing does have its fair share of problems that I'm just not going to tackle because I don't want to. Like, it doesn't have an antenna, and that'd be fine because I actually put an aftermarket radio in the car. It's in there. Really quick, I can just show you. I actually put an aftermarket radio in the car, so I don't really need that. But it'd be nice to have. One major thing is changing the tires, but as I said, changing the tires on something isn't restoring it. It's not really a restoration because it's a consumable item. 
if you if you change the tires on like a 94 Honda Civic, you're not restoring a 94 Honda Civic, you're just changing the tires. So those is, are something I will do eventually. They have tubes in them, the front ones. So, um, uh, I, they have tubes in them, so they're not going to blow really badly anytime soon. They work just fine. The back ones are holding air particularly well for being 40 years old. I will be getting a glove box cover, because this side is just a piece of cardboard I threw on here. And I will be getting one of those. The major thing, however, is actually the windshield. Now, a windshield is quite expensive for this car, and I don't have something. As you can see, this windshield does have an issue. It's right here. It actually got shot. I, it was either, a, I believe it was a bullet. Somebody sh uh, ricocheted off a sign, and he hit the windshield. So, um... The, a windshield for this thing is really pricey to get in America because you got to get it shipped overseas. And I can't get one custom made, really, because it's curved glass. Um, which, my next project car, which I'll probably have, I could get a windshield custom made because it's flat glass. I will put up a video shortly, uh, maybe in the next week, of what cars to, I'm considering getting. But, um, yes, yeah, so... I couldn't get this made, really. It'd be If I were to get it made, it'd be incredibly expensive because it's curved glass. This is a Morris Minor 1000, which means it's slightly different than the previous Series 2 because the Series 2 had two flat glass panels, I believe. If anybody at my um, my viewers actually has a Series 2, I, knew if, I know a few of you do. Could you tell me if the windshields are actually flat with just the um, line down the middle to the split down the middle, or if they're curved like this as well. I would believe that they are um, flat because why would you put a break? Why would you put a break in them if they weren't? So yes, that is Morris Minor restoration part fifty restoration complete. Basically, I mean, other things would be repairs. Thanks for watching.